Chapter 222, Pixie Oot Treasure Jar, 2, Naive Little Thing, I will first break all of your bones. The cruel voice of Nanshan Hoodoo rang, in the blink of an eye, his giant fist shined with waves and waves of light as its power increased, bang. Lee Kai had a difficult time bearing the blow this time, he spewed out a mouthful of blood, kid, surrender, otherwise, you will scream many times until you accept your sin. Nanshan Hoodoo's voice fell down once again, you are only in eight palaces kingdom, do you really think it will end me? At that time, Lee Kai howled with laughter and no longer held anything back, in a flash, his entire body exuded a blinding brilliance. For just a moment, this bright and scorching light blindingly illuminated this entire world. Under this light, it seemed as if everything was bleached into transparency. What happened? The sudden explosive burst of light was as if it was the start of the primordial chaos, breaking out from inside the eight palaces kingdom. Many people couldn't help but become astonished from seeing such a scene. The heavens will is mine. Lee Kai let out a loud drawer. Not to mention the kingdom, even the world outside suddenly dimmed down. It was as if the stars were falling, as if the supreme heavens will was pouring down an endless energy. In a split second, it seemed as if all the lights in this world gathered on Lee Kai's body. Boom. A deafening detonation destroyed the world. Finally, a crack was torn from inside the eight palaces kingdom. Lee Kai flew backwards out of the kingdom, even though there was still a smidge of blood on the corner of his lips as he had a distressed look. At this moment, his body was emitting an endless amount of light. At the present time, stars hovered around Lee Kai's body. These stars were around the size of a thumb and floated around him along with an undulating sun and moon. These celestials formed into wisps of silver lights as they ceaselessly revolved. The even more frightening part was that there was a piece of blue sky with a profound and deep shade. The heavens will was rooted inside as it was raining over all the world's laws and the united myriad of Tao. Heavens will secret law. Seeing Li Kai's situation, someone drew in a cold breath and exclaimed in amazement, Immortal Emperor Minutes rends daylight sky immortal secret from the legends. Having heard this, everyone turned emotional. Heavens will secret law. This represented the highest accomplishment within the life of invincible immortal emperor. Although immortal emperors might create many emperor laws during their lives, in the end, the real invincibility was within the heavens will secret law. It could only be created after shouldering the heavens will because, along with its power, it contained the mysteries of the heavens. Some emperor laws were created at a young age, and they were strengthened by the emperor's Tao after achieving immortal emperor to finally become real emperor laws. However, without shouldering the heavens will, it was impossible to create a secret law. There was nothing comparable to the most powerful secret laws in this world outside of the nine grand scriptures, but to the world. The scriptures were only part of the legends. Nanshan Hoodoo couldn't help but become alarmed after seeing the secret law. Come, open my eyes and show me just how powerful an eight palace ancient saint is. Ah! Even with blood dripping from the corner of his mouth, Li Kai seemed like a true king of the heavens, adorning the blue sky above with the stars hovering around him. At this point, many people from the heavenly southern kingdom were greatly dismayed, especially young King Nanshan. He had reddened eyes from jealousy. This brat was already cultivating a covetous immortal physique, but he actually trained a secret law as well. Isn't the legendary heavens will secret law of the cleansing and sense ancient sect lost? Seeing the secret law created by mortal Emperor Minutes Ren appearing from Li Kai, a person couldn't help but ask quietly, Heavens will secret law. Nanshan Hoodoo's expression turned cold as he sneered, With your cultivation, even the secret law cannot change your fate. Only death lies in the end. Finished his jeering, he summoned a treasure pot jar. Divine Beast Protector, come out. Nanshan Hoodoo roared in suddenly, all of his blood energy rushed into the treasure jar. In this second, an endless fierce beast or a sword from the jar, bang bang bang. Bursts of thunderous noises resounded. The treasure jar sank into Nanshan Hoodoo's eight palaces kingdom. In a flash, the power of the kingdom, along with the blood energy, entered the jar. Ngawa at this time, a loud roar of a beast appeared. This beast roar not only shocked the nearby cultivators, rendering their legs weak, but it also alarmed many of the tightly packed earth corpses in the far distance. A gigantic beast jumped out of a treasure jar, creating mayhem amongst the spectators. The body of this beast was even larger than a high mountain. Its frightening aura came from an ancient age, commanding respect from others just like a divine beast descending down to the mortal world. All of the weaker and insignificant beings felt the primal fear. Divine Beast Pixie U. Everyone lost their colors when this giant beast leaped out. Pixie U Treasure Jar. The Heavenly King Life Treasure that had always been passed down by the Heavenly Southern Kingdom. Only a Heavenly King Life Treasure? This is the National Teacher of the Kingdom, though. Having heard this, a junior questioned it. The National Teacher of the Kingdom should be using a virtuous Paragon Life Treasure. Ah, why was he using a Heavenly King Life Treasure like this? The origin of this jar is heavenly shocking. But unfortunately, its master died at a young age. This royal lore continued as murmuring. The heavenly southern kingdom seized it from someone else's hands. This jar was refined from the Dao bone of a heavenly beast Pixie Ua. This treasure crafted from the Dao bone of a heavenly beast Pixie U once belonged to a genius before falling into the hands of the heavenly southern kingdom. Although the heavenly beast Pixie U was not the real Pixie U and couldn't compare to its divine beast heritage, it contained the bloodline of a divine beast Pixie U and its strength was extremely formidable. This genius reached the heavenly king realm but, in the end, he died to the hands of a kingdom, and this treasure also fell into their hands, using his fate palace's kingdom to take care of the beast, and to even call it a divine beast protector. Grand Dao Saint, such an achievement like this already exceeds my entire lifetime's accomplishments. An ancient saint from the previous generation couldn't help but lament at such a sight. Nanshan Hoodoo's divine beast protector was only for his own eight palaces kingdom. 
He actually used his kingdom to strengthen his heavenly king life treasure and groom the pixie Udao bone inside his fate palaces. This was beyond anyone's imagination. There is no strongest life treasure, only the most suitable life treasure. A royal lord quietly stated, even though people said that the higher the rank of a life treasure, the more powerful it was. However, this was only in principle. For example, one could be a royal noble but could only use 30% of a virtuous paragon life treasure, or even only 10 or 20%. They would also need a huge amount of blood energy to activate a treasure of this level. This pixie Ut treasure jar was a great match for Nanshan Hudu in his eight palaces kingdom. He could unleash an unthinkable power that was potentially more powerful than an ordinary cultivator wielding a virtuous paragon true treasure, Junior, accept your death. Nanshan Hutu roared with his blood energy while controlling the jar. It flashed a blinding light as the pixie Ut growled, and its giant claw immediately mauled towards Lee Kai. Activate as the pixie Ut's claw was approaching, not to mention other people, even Lee Kai's expression dimmed down. He let out a battle cry as the high blue sky suddenly gathered the energy from the world, channeling it incessantly into Lee Kai's body. At this moment, Lee Kai seemed to have turned into a giant. The moment this avatar appeared, the blue sky replaced the firmament as each of the huge stars could sink the heavenly ancient corpse burial ground. Lee Kai, like a bottomless black hole, devoured all of the world's energy like a flood. All of the Grand Dao power also attached to his body. The worst part was that Lee Kai's yin yang sea of blood was endless like the blood energy of the gods. It poured into his body, causing his battle power to surge torrentially with a boundless vitality. At this second, Lee Kai turned into the light of the sun and unleashed this power. Boom. Lee Kai's avatar actually managed to block the pixie Ooze claw, even though Lee Kai's body thumpingly retreated, he still withstood the blow. This is impossible. This kid is clearly not even a royal noble. How could he stop a blow of this magnitude? Many people couldn't believe their own eyes. This was absurd. Truly a miracle. Heaven's will secret law. Seeing such a display caused countless people to go crazy. A heaven's will secret law was truly insanity inducing for many heritages. The peerless treasure. The yin yang sea of blood. Along with the secret law, this power was unimaginable. Beast raging against the world. At this time, Nanshan Hudu finally revealed his killing blow and used his Emperor Law. In an instant, an Emperor Aura encompassed the sky as Emperor Runes fell down. Nanshan Hudu turned into an immemorial fierce beast and had a sacred presence. In the blink of an eye, the Pixie Ud became even larger as it exuded an Emperor's breath. Beast raging against the world. A person was traumatized and emotionally exclaimed, An Emperor Law left behind by Immortal Emperor Fiang. Didn't people say that Immortal Emperor Fiang didn't leave any Emperor Laws behind for the Heavenly Southern Kingdom? How come it still has an Emperor Law from Fiang? An undying old man murmured at the sight of Nanshan Hudu using his killing technique. The Heavenly Southern Kingdom had a secret that it did not want anyone to find out. Immortal Emperor Fiang was one of the most powerful and exceptional immortal emperors since the beginning of time. Even though he came from the Heavenly Southern Kingdom, he actually opposed them before. From a young age, he left the kingdom and never returned afterwards. Future generations did not know the reason why. In short, even though he came from the kingdom, he did not admit himself as its disciple. He didn't even leave behind his Tao heritage for the kingdom. Because of this, an ancient nation like the Heavenly Southern Kingdom did not name itself an ancient kingdom, but only a kingdom. 